to add a little bit more uh, to our scene, uh, we want to add a, um, uh, we're going to model, I'm going to show you how to model a log, kind of a bonus modeling thing here. So uh, basically open up your hatchet three file. Let's go ahead and hover over this. Let's get this back to our default. And you know, another thing you can do is if you, uh, if you don't want to do this windows here, you can always go up here and change it back to the default screen. Well, actually, it takes you back. But there's some, um, there's some other uh, things you can do here. We can do a 3D fuel, full view, view um, default. And this kind of, since we've changed our default, default does stay the same. But there are, just to let you know, there are some other options up here. So let's go ahead and hover over here. Let's join this area, make sure the, area, the arrow is pointing over this way. So we bring over our 3D view. Okay, so let's go ahead and tab into object mode. And if you'll notice down here, here is some, uh, here is some uh, um, uh, layers. These are down here called layers. And if we just click on any one of those, we end up going to a new uh, layer. And it's a blank layer. Our, our project's still here on one, which contains our camera and our lamp. But we can go over to layer two or three, and we get a blank slate here. So now we can model some new stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and do Shift A. Let's actually for yeah Shift A, and let's go ahead and add a mesh. Let's add a circle. For our vertices, let's go ahead and change this to 16. Let's half this. Our fill type is nothing. Our radius this will be fine because we'll just adjust it adjust it here soon. Uh, location and all that we'll take care of later. All right, so go ahead and. Uh, Go to front view and let's grab this and let's move it down somewhere around here. Let's go ahead and tab into uh, edit mode and switch over to our vertex select. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to um, hit the period key to go in. Let's go into top view here. Now, one thing we want to do is we want to uh, get a texture that we're going to put on this. This right here will be our um, this right here will be our uh, um, the top of our tree, like where the tree has been cut off. But first, let's go ahead and do a uh, let's do E to extrude. Let's left click and then follow that with S. We'll scale it in a little bit. Let's just scale it in just a little bit first time here. Okay, let's go E. Extrude, left click, scale in, scale in a little bit more. E extrude, left click, scale. And we just keep doing this until we can get down a decent amount of geometry. And another thing we can do is we can say E extrude scale and take it almost to the middle here. And then we'll just do control R and give us some more here. All right, so now we want to alt select this middle ring and we want to hit the alt M, which is our merge key. We want to merge those all at the center. And there we go. So now we have the top of our tree here, decent amount of geometry because we're going to put a texture on here. So we'll go back into seven. Now, something you want to do here is if we hit N key, remember we bring up this, um, this menu over here. If we scroll down, background images, almost the bottom here. If we click this, we scroll this down and we hit add image. We want to add an image, so we'll go ahead and open that. And remember, we had I downloaded some images here, and I downloaded one. Let's look at them in view here. X images. We want this image right here. So let's click on this and open image. And that's uh, way too big for what we're wanting here. So let's go ahead and go down here a little bit, and let's look a little bit at this add image. Now, if I go to one, notice I still get this image. If I go to five, you have to be in orthogonal view to see this. So let's go to seven, and we only want to see this image in top view. So let's click on this axis, and let's do top. 
So now if I go to one or three, I don't see the, the image anymore. So back to seven, however this window, and seven. All right, so we, we want to um, go down here. Let's, let's change our, um, if you can't see, sometimes you'll see and you won't be able to see what these say. Let's go ahead and move this. This is our Y. Let's try to get this kind of centered up. On our log here. And that's pretty good there. Now we want to change the size of our image here. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Change our opacity. Oh, here we go, size. Now we want to make this size, we want to get it pretty close, and then we'll probably have to change our y-axis again, try to get that centered. And that's actually pretty good right there. So we want to, uh, sometimes it'll be hard to find uh, what you're looking for here. So we'll go ahead and Z into wireframe mode, and we'll just start taking these and start lining them up. So let's go ahead and hit the B key. Let's select these vertices. Let's turn on our proportional editing, and we'll grab this, and we'll just kind of line it up with that edge there. I don't have to get it too exact. This will just give us some difference in our wood here. Deselect those with A. Let's grab, actually let's grab the oh, B and let's grab these. Grab. So we don't want any of that blue showing, so we might have to go back and clean that up a little bit. This is looking pretty good right here. Let's select these. Deselect those, B, grab these two, and grab those out with proportional editing on, just your circle. I'm going to try to pretty good. And let's grab this one here. So we just really don't want to get on the blue here. You could actually, if you wanted to, just wouldn't have to use the proportional editing. You could just grab that and pull it out. Okay. A little bit more of this edge here. All right, I'm looking around this and just, you know, you can be tedious as you want with this and it might take you a while to do it if you are doing this, but I think that's that's pretty good for this. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh, hit the N key. We'll bring up this menu again. Now, since we've got this already, we can actually just X this out or uh, close the eye on it, which just takes it away. So either way, we're we're done with it. So we can we can just get rid of it. And hit the N key again to take this away. 